You know when you're a kid and you just love to paint and color, did you ever think, hey, maybe one day I could actually do this and make a living? I'm Jenna Herbert and you're watching Make It TV where we interview creative entrepreneurs who are making a living doing what they love. I'm super excited today because my guest is John Shaw. John, I'm so excited you're here because you did exactly that. You were a kid who loved art and did you ever think you'd be able to do it now as a career? Uh, well, I suppose I didn't really think about doing it full time, but I mean, you know, it's one of those things that as you grow up and get better at something and really dive into what you're passionate about, it just started to develop, so. And here in Vancouver, I mean, there's so many different artists and, you know, there's, there's so many places that people can go and be able to purchase incredible art. What, what do you think makes you stand out? I'd say just a, a uniqueness of style mm -hmm. and a familiarity of place. I mean, I'm taking certain areas in town and making them look a little different, looking at them from a different angle, so an alleyway, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think people are really interested in that. Okay. And just material combinations, the way I combine drawing and painting, I think, is a little uh, different. So I think that's something that catches the eye. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting your technique of drawing and then painting and you mentioned earlier you don't necessarily consider yourself a drawer or a painter so what do you call the technique that or do you have a name for it? In theory it is a mixed media process but I like to think of what I make as just artworks. They're not specifically drawings or paintings, they're really a combination of both. So I like to break down any specific classification if I can because I'm really just making art so these are my artworks. So how did you decide or what was the situation where you thought, you know what, I could actually do my paintings and sell them for money and maybe other people would want to give, give me money to purchase my art? <laughs> uh, well, was, you know, you start doing some shows and some are successful and some aren't. Mm -hmm. And then a certain show or a certain person buys one particular work and it makes you think about what you can sell more of or what you're really interested in, in making. Mm -hmm. And then you start to figure out other, other mediums in, mm -hmm. in order to get your work to people. So originals or reproductions or greeting cards or whatever you want to do. Yeah. Because you've been in making now for, for how many years? I know it's been a few. Two, two or three years two in or total three. it would be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And is it, is it ever really surprising to you? Like who's buying your art and any feedback that you're getting that's sort of surprising? It's definitely a mix of people that are purchasing. I wouldn't say anything is, uh, you know, really surprising that, like, abnormal, for example, everyone that buys it seems to really enjoy it and they, they like to support what I'm doing, which is great. So. And then the business side of things, because now you're an artist, but you're also an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So how have you been able to develop your, your business skills? Well, I mean, I don't have any specific business training per se, right. but what I've learned is just figuring out what you need to prepare if you're going to do, say, a market type show. I want to do some reproductions of certain popular paintings, for example, or some greeting cards, and then also mixing in a variety of uh, large originals and small originals as right. well. So just getting a combination of all these things is really important. So is there any piece of advice that you receive that really stuck with you that you still take to heart and reflect upon? Uh, yeah, if you, if you are the most creative person in the room, you're doing something wrong. You, oh. need, you need to be, you, you can't be the most creative person in the room. Because if you are, then you need to go place yourself next to someone who's better than you and move to a different room. Oh, that's so interesting. Thank you so much, John. Your, your story is so inspirational and you gave some beautiful nuggets of wisdom that I know people are going to really be able to use in their own lives. So thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. And thank you for watching Make It TV. I'm Jenna Herbert. And if you enjoyed this video, which of course you did because John Shaw's here, uh, please share it with your friends and also make sure to follow our channel. If you have any comments of your own, any tidbits of advice, please share them in the comments and I'll see you next time on Make It TV.